Dare to Dream 2017, Week 1, Science Academy. In the beginning of the week, we did a program called WORIS, which stands for Washington Occupational Informational Service, and this website asks you questions, and at the end, it shows you what you might be interested in doing as your career. I wasn't really surprised when I did it because I want to be a mechanic or a technician, and that's what showed up at the screen, and yeah, it's really cool to go check it out at Roy. Okay, and then on Wednesday, we went to my favorite place, which was the Sports Engineering Laboratory. Uh, this is where they bring a lot of equipment from different sports, and they pretty much just pass us through there, and it's put to the test to see, like, if the manufacturers are not really... They're not really like mess around with the uh, um, with the requirements of what a bat needs to have or a baseball and so on. Uh, what the main sport that we mostly focused on was baseball. Um, with the baseball bats, they have this machine that has two tubes, one in the bottom and one in the top. And as the base, like the baseball is right in the middle, and as the baseball goes through the middle the tubes um, squish together and we can hear like the bat like um, like a broken window uh, the squeaks and then we also did um, we also talked about the baseballs of how they have a certain amount of hits until they're not able to use it anymore in the pros the, that's, a, that's 20 hits until it's pretty much done and then every Every one hit, it takes about three to four hours for it to recover and be able to use again. And then for football, they pretty much test out like the pads to make sure that the pads are pretty much doing the what they need to be doing, which is protecting the players. For soccer, it's all about physical contact with the ball, uh, about the head with the concussion and stuff. And then at the end of the day, we just pretty much got to take a baseball home, which is really nice as a memory. So, yeah. Durante toda esta semana estuvimos mirando de micrología, que es algo bastante interesante porque se habla de instrumentos para la clase, bacterias, entre otras cosas. En toda la semana estuvimos mirando unas, los tipos que se les da en el tube, que se trata de que tiene algún químico dentro y le echas como digamos saliva y te va a decir, te indica qué tipo de bacteria tienes en tu boca, si produce ácido la bacteria que tienes o no produce, o gas, o etc. También utilizamos otro que es como el agar plates, que son unos platitos de plástico donde embarras uh, bacteria y le echas algún producto, un químico, para ver si es, es eficiente para matar la bacteria o no. Y eso es lo que estuvimos mirando durante toda la semana. So chemistry was pretty fun, it was pretty fascinating. Our first lab was the Skittle lab, getting to see and getting to see what dyes are in there. Our second lab was getting to make getting to make crystals. Our third one was getting to make goo, and our fourth one was making flammable gel. It was pretty fascinating getting to, getting to see how it lit up, and I'm really glad I got this opportunity thanks to Dare to Dream. Um, we also did a lot of fun activities. Um, when we weren't busy with our school school and stuff, we went to the recreational center where we got um, a lot of options to play like different kinds of sports like volleyball, basketball, and other stuff. We also played games outside. We played um, tag with noodles, and we danced around and stuff. And we also did a song fest where we met how to create a song with our hall homies, and we performed it on stage. El tour en SEL estuvo muy interesante y pudimos ver cómo funcionan los electrónicos y el proceso de su fabricación. Last but not least, um, this is a health class. We will talk about the body. We, I made a heart. Um, we will talk about the measuring of our health by weighing myself to measure our height, check our heart or 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 breathe, uh, check our temperature by the thermometer, check our blood pressure and our waist and thighs to see if they were average or not or really high. But for the reproductive system, we talked about the vagina and the penis. The vagina has ovaries and the penis has a, the prostate gland and the um, testicles. And then for the nutrition, 
The bad food would be considered a pizza, pasta, hamburgers, and chocolate. And then for the healthy food would be apples, water, and broccoli. And hope you guys enjoy it. Bye, guys.